What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'm sitting here in my YMZ and you know what I'm missing? I'm missing some tunes! You know what? I need a stereo in this bitch. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna install one today. So stay tuned. All right, well here is the system that I went with. If you're cheap as fuck, uh, uh, cheap AF like I am, then this is right down your alley. This is only $220 on Amazon. I will put a link down below in the description. You can check it out. But $220, bucks, i have heard it. Not in my machine, obviously. It's not installed. But I've heard it uh, live in person. And for the money, it is super legit. I mean, it doesn't have a subwoofer. You're not going to be out bumping your friends that spend, you know, 1000 bucks. But guess what? You're going to have tunes on the trail. And, uh... It sounds pretty good. It goes pretty loud. And this is really, I mean, come on, you're in a side by side. You don't need to be, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't even know. People that spend that much money, you're crazy. But then again, I'm cheap as a mofo. So for $220, you get this uh, four channel 100. Well, it's not 100 watts. It's 100 watts per channel amplifier. And then you get the Bluetooth controller. And then uh, some power wires, this is for the battery, then you get some hardware, some speaker wires, some zip ties, instructions, and then uh, this is just like some uh, rubber stuff, rubber 3M stuff that you can uh, put on the speaker pod so that it fits your uh, cage, depending on if it's 2 inch, inch and 3 quarter, inch and a half, whatever, the instructions cover that. But then you also get these two 4 inch speaker pods. They are, uh, I mean, they look pretty good for how cheap the system is. But let's go ahead and install this on, if you don't know yet, I have a 2019 Yamaha YXZ1000R and uh, we're going to be installing it. I'm going to put the speaker pods, I believe, one here and then one on the opposite side. So that, I think that'll be the uh, the best option. So I'm not gonna be doing a step-by-step -step how to install this. The instructions are actually pretty good. Uh, I looked at those over already, but I'll just go ahead and show you like where I ran my wires, where I set this or blah, 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 blah. You know, give you a quick couple ideas of uh, what I did. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we get started on that, how about you go down, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already, and hit that thumbs up button because uh, I have a goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers this year. So if you could help me out, that would mean a lot to me. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, well, now that you've uh, clicked down below and you've subscribed and liked the video, we are going to go ahead and uh, take the Bluetooth controller and we are gonna go and sit inside of the uh, YXZ and figure out where I wanna put the controller. Basically, this is like the head unit and uh, we're gonna figure out where we wanna put it. So I'm just sitting in here in the YXZ now and I was really planning on maybe putting it here, maybe taking off my RAM mount, maybe moving that or something and then taking the controller, putting it here or there. But then, you know, I was like, you know, I have so many damn wires already running through here. Uh, maybe I should switch it up. And actually what I was thinking is maybe I'll take the controller and I'll put it right up here. I'll put the controller there and then I can run the wires along the uh, roll cage underneath the, in between the uh, cage and everything so that they're not really seen. But I think sitting here as the driver and then I'll have my tunes and I could just be power on, volume, blast that shit up and then be like nope, next, 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 nope, next, next, next. Ah, okay, perfect. So I think that's what we're going to go for. Maybe, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to grab the stuff and then uh, start installing it. One thing I will add is that this has a uh, well, this is your port that goes to your uh, amplifier, and then this actually has an auxiliary input so that you can use your good old fashioned 3.5 millimeter um, headphone jack if you're old school. Uh, that's kind of old school. If you're super old school, I'm not sure how you could fit a tape in here or even a CD, but uh, I don't know. Maybe this isn't for you, but at least we got headphone jack, we're good, Bluetooth, we're good, right guys? All right, so I thought this was a little bit weird, but uh, 
here's your connector this is your fuse your inline fuse positive and negative and then it goes to this button which it's an on and off button which I guess is kind of cool kind of kind of weird but uh, then this it goes positive and negative to your uh, battery this goes to your battery and then they put an inline button to turn it off and on which is good if you're yeah I don't know because look at here's the amplifier here's your uh, pigtail right here where this is gonna plug into right there so your button is gonna be close to this and if it's close to this then this has to be accessible ah I don't know my plan is to put this behind the seat so I don't know we'll go ahead and uh, I'll figure it out I got my seat out now I'm going to I think I'm gonna mount the uh, amplifier right here because they want it kind of high up in the vehicle so that you're not gonna flood it and get it all wet it's a marine grade so it's watertight but I mean soaking it in a big ass puddle you're probably uh, probably gonna get it wet so putting it right here behind the seat and then I'm gonna run my wires up here to the top on the roll cage zip tie it along here and to the controller update what I've done I've uh, screwed mounted the uh, amplifier then I've ran my wires they're kind of all scattered all over the place but I also mounted the uh, controller up here so now what I'm gonna do is I got my wires here I'm gonna tighten those up and then I'm gonna zip tie them along here so that they follow all the way back and then all my slack will lead to the amplifier then I can bundle all my wires together so that you can't right, see them. so I have Ran the wires, got some zip ties on here, so the wires come over here. They go up into, well, not into, but underneath the roof, kind of over here. I got zip ties all the way along here so that you can't see the wire. The wire is up here between the roof and the uh, roll bar comes down here, comes down over here. More zip ties. We got it coming down here and then over here and then boom, to the amplifier. There you go. And uh, it's looking pretty good. You can't even tell. Just stand back and uh, all you see is a couple zip ties and you're good to go. And you can't really tell from the inside either. Probably blurry, probably dark, probably can't see shit, but uh, it's there and you can't see it. Just believe me. Now, an upside to having the controller right here at your fingertips from outside of the side-by-side -side is that uh, usually when you're using music besides on the trails, you're either camping, you're out on the beach or on the dunes or whatever, and you want everybody else to hear your music, because you're the only one stupid enough to put a sound system in your side-by-side. -side. Uh, yes, I've become that person. Anyways, it is uh, accessible. Instead of having it in your center console and having to reach over here to change the music or whatever, or whatever, yeah, or on your phone, you could just come right over here from outside. See, I'm outside, I'm not inside. And, Britney Spears, on fire right there. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. So let's go and uh, hook up so some more wires. It's time to venture in the rat's nest. I got so much shit going on here. Anyways, we got to get the uh, positive and the negative for the uh, battery so that we can hook up the uh, power and the negative. Our sweet little button. So now what I've done is I've connected the uh, positive uh, terminal here. This will go on the battery. I uh, used some heat shrink to uh, attach it. This came with the kit, the heat shrink did not, but I uh, had that in my own toolbox, but it's probably a good idea that you do that. And I did also did that to the, uh, the ground, the negative for the battery terminal. And now we will attach this to the battery and then we can run this wire and have our little switch to get power to the uh, amplifier. So here we go. All right, all right, all right. We ventured into the rat's nest. God damn, I have so much shit installed. But we have our power for our amplifier and our sweet little button. Check it out. Booyah, we got some power. So that means we're going to be bumping in no time. Power on, power off. So 
Now I'm going to run the wires outside of this, uh, yeah, up here somewhere where it is actually uh, accessible and I'm gonna have my little power, I don't know where yet, but I'll show you after I figure it out. But then we just uh, put that on. Now we got some tunes going on, then we turn it off and there we go. So what I decided to do was I just ran the wires up through here and then here's our fuse, here's our button. Now it's stuck to here. I used some brake cleaner to clean off the plastic so that it would stick. And this shit's strong as, yeah, it's, it's strong. Anyways, so here's our power button. And uh, we have, uh, here's our power. Our power is going to the amplifier. Now we just have to hook up the speakers and we're good to go. The uh, speaker pod's on here and I'm going to uh, put one here, one on the other side of the chair or seat, whatever the hell you want to call it. But we're going to go ahead and uh, mount them up and then hook up the speaker wires to these uh yeah to these wires and then we are going to be clubbing up in here okay sorry 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 i'll cut that cut that and there we go i have a speaker pod installed it's good and sturdy and uh what i did was i added Let's see if we can get it. Uh, you probably can't see it, but I added two layers of the uh, rubber padding that they supply on the bottom, and then I cut uh, the top. I did three on the top, and uh, well, putting the bottom, the screws from the bottom was kind of a pain in the ass, but we're good here, and it's nice and sturdy. We got everything going on, and now we'll put one on the passenger side over here, then we'll be able to run the speaker wires, and then we'll finally actually get to hear this thing boom! All right, well, I got both speakers installed now. We got the uh, seats back in there, and uh, we're all wired up, and we are good to go. So now, let's hear it a little bit. Uh, you're probably not gonna be able to tell how great it sounds, but I'll go ahead and uh, turn on some tunes and uh, give you a little bit of an example. All right, so we'll go up to our uh, Bluetooth controller, hold this for three seconds, it'll turn on. There we go. Now we'll go down to our phone, play some tunes. Me, just some strangers. Yeah, you wasn't with me in that range. I posted in the phone. Y'all, you wasn't hanging with me when I spoke in the All right, now I will step out of the vehicle and I'll uh, turn on some tunes. I didn't want to play too much of that so I don't get a copyright strike. Put on a different song and uh, hear a little bit from outside. So, I don't know if it conveys the uh, sound quality through the camera, probably not, but it actually sounds really good. I mean, for 220 bucks, I'm super, super impressed with these, but uh, the only thing that I would uh, gripe about a little bit is that it was kind of a pain in the butt to install the pods. The uh, bolts reaching up here in the bolts, that was kind of a pain in the ass. And the speaker wire. It's hard to hide a white wire. So that goes down here, goes behind the seats, goes over there. But I mean, standing back, sure as shit, you can see that wire. So eventually I'm going to get some black speaker wire just so that I can't see it. Because that kind of annoys me a little bit. But uh, at least the black would camouflage it a little bit. But anyways... It sounds dope, and I'm pretty happy. So there you go, a nice affordable stereo system for your side-by-side -side or whatever, your golf cart or whatever you want to put it in. Uh, 220 bucks, it's a freaking smoking deal, and uh, it was super easy to install. Um, yeah, I'll put the link down below, as I said, in the uh, description. You can check that out on Amazon. And then also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up and make sure you uh, go through my channel, check out my other install videos and my writing videos, have lots of those. So uh, thanks for joining me and uh, come see me again. Peace out.